Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigia. Today in this video we are going to solve one very interesting and tricky radical equation which we are going to solve for real values of x. So let's get started by writing domain of the equation first. So we can write our first condition from this radicant only. 6 minus x should be positive. So we can write x should be less than 6. Once x is greater than 6, then we will get radicant negative. A square root of negative number will lead to complex solutions. So first condition is x should be less than 6. Now if I will write our equation here, x equal to minus 3 plus square root of 9 plus square root of 6 minus x. The minimum value of square root 6 minus x would be 0. So we can write square root of 9 plus 0. This would be the minimum value of this radical expression in total. Square root 9 plus 0 is square root 9 value is 3. Now we have minus 3 here also which will give us 0. So our second condition will come out our x must be always positive. x cannot be negative. Now we have to consider intersection of these two conditions. x less than 6, x greater than 0. We will write directly x should be in the interval 0 and 6. Our answer should be in this interval for solutions to be real. Now we will add 3 to both sides to our equation. We will write x plus 3 equal to square root of 9 plus square root of 6 minus x. Now to get rid of square root from RHS, we will consider squaring both sides. So we will write x plus 3 whole square will be equal to 9 plus square root 6 minus x. Now I will use a plus b whole square formula here. So we can write x square plus 2 times x times 3, 6x plus 3 square 9 will be equal to 9 plus square root of 6 minus x. Now we will subtract 9 from both the sides. We will write here x square plus 6x. This should be equal to square root 6 minus x. Now I can write our equation square root 6 minus x. This should be equal to, we will take x common from these two terms. So in the bracket we can write x plus 6. Now I will use one algebraic manipulation step. First x, we will write x plus 3 minus 3. This is x. x plus 6, we can write x plus 3 plus 3. So here we are getting x plus 3, x plus 3. So let's write our LHS radicant also in terms of x plus 3 if possible. So we can write here 9 minus x plus 3. So 9 minus 3 is 6. Minus times x is minus x. Now we will use substitution. Let's say x plus 3 equal to y. So I can write equation square root 9 minus y will be equal to y minus 3 times y plus 3. Now our condition or restriction on x was x should be in the interval 0 and 6. Now we can find out restriction on y also. Let me write equation once square root 9 minus y will be equal to y plus 3 times y minus 3. 
Now I will use difference of two squares formula here and we can write here square root 9 minus y. This will be equal to y square minus 3 square which is 9. Now our condition on x was x should be in the interval 0 and 6. Now I will add 3 to this inequality. We will write 0 plus 3 x plus 3 less than 6 plus 3. So we can write x plus 3 equal to y. y should lie in the interval 3 and 9. So if we will solve for the value of y, it should be in the interval 3 to 9. Now we will consider squaring both sides to remove a square root. So let us put power 2. Now we can cancel a square root with power 2 in our left hand side. So we will get 9 minus y. This will be equal to y square minus 9 whole square. Now we will subtract y square from both the sides. So let me write here y square. So in the RHS we will write y square. Now in RHS we can apply difference of two squares formula and we will take minus one common from LHS. So I can write minus common in bracket y square plus y minus 9. In RHS we will apply a square minus b square formula. So a plus b times a minus b we are going to write here a is y square minus 9. So I can write y square plus y minus 9. This is a plus b. Now we have to write a minus b. So we will write here y square minus y minus 9. Now we will take all the terms to RHS. We can write y square plus y minus 9 times y square minus y minus 9 plus y square plus y minus 9 equal to 0. Now we can take y square plus y minus 9 common out. So in other bracket we are going to write y square minus y minus 9 plus 1 equal to 0. Or we can write factors y square plus y minus 9 times y square minus y minus 8 equal to 0. Now we will apply product 0 rule. So we will write either y square plus y minus 9 equal to 0 or y square minus y minus 8 equal to 0. Let's write. We will write here y square plus y minus 9 equal to 0 and y square minus y minus 8 equal to 0. Now we have two quadratic equations. We are going to use quadratic formula. So let me write here y equal to minus b. We will write minus 1 b is 1, a is 1, c is minus 9 plus minus the square root of b square 1 is square is 1 minus 4 times 1 times minus 9. I can write plus 36 over 2 times 1 so 2 or we can write minus 1 plus minus the square root of 37 over 2. Now from second equation I will write y will be equal to 1 plus minus a square root of minus 1 a square is 1 minus 4 times 1 times minus 8. So we have to write plus 32 over 2 times 1 is 2. So we are getting 1 plus minus a square root of 33 over 2. Now I will write approximate value of y. So if I will consider here plus sign in between. So approximately I will get 
माइनस वन प्लस स्क्वायर रूट थर्टी सेवन ओवर टू माइनस वन माइनस स्क्वायर रूट थर्टी सेवन ओवर टू इज अप्रोक्सीमेटली माइनस थ्री पॉइंट फाइव वन प्लस स्क्वायर रूट थर्टी थ्री ओवर टू इज अप्रोक्सीमेटली थ्री पॉइंट फोर एंड लास्ट वैल्यू वन माइनस स्क्वायर रूट थर्टी थ्री ओवर टू इफ यू विल राइट इट वुड बी माइनस टू पॉइंट फोर एंड कंडीशन ऑन वाई वॉज वाई शुड बी इन द इंटरवल थ्री एंड नाइन नाउ वी हैव टू रिजेक्ट थ्री सोल्यूशन एंड वी हैव टू एक्सेप्ट ओनली वन द एक्सेप्टेड सोल्यूशन वुड बी थ्री पॉइंट फोर दीज थ्री सोल्यूशन आर नॉट एज पर our restriction on y y should be in the interval 3 to 9 so if i will write y value then this value would be with plus sign so i will write 1 plus square root 33 over 2 now y was x plus 3 so i can write here x plus 3 equal to 1 plus root 33 over 2 So y equal to x plus three equal to one plus root thirty three over two. Now we will subtract three from both the sides. So I can write minus three, minus three. So plus and minus three will be over. We will get x equal to one plus root thirty three over two. And minus three, I will write minus six over two. So we will be getting one plus root thirty three minus six in the numerator with denominator two. So our final answer will become minus five plus root thirty three over two. The only real solution for our radical equation problem. I hope friends you will like this video thank you so very much for watching do not forget to like share subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care bye bye